Hello, my name is Zero. This is going to be a full game tutorial uh, for beginners. Anyone who's interested in getting into ODST. Um, I'm pretty much going to cover everything. It's going to be pretty rough take. I'm not really using the checkpoint trainer. I shouldn't need it. Um, in general, I'm going to cover most of the basic strats. Uh, we're not going to go over any of the out of bounds stuff. Uh, I mean, if you want to learn that, I will have a advanced tutorial later, or you can go find the trick tutorials for whatever trick it is. Uh, just for context, I am on PC. Uh, my FOV is 86 for ODST. Uh, I'm on 7 gamma. These shouldn't really matter, but just for the sake of the visual quality that you're going to see. Additionally, I do play Lowered Crosshair, so you can pog weird that all you want, but that's just what I do. Um, yeah, a few things about the run. Uh, it is timed PGCR, Post Game Carnage Report, which is the IGT. So you need to make sure you have competitive time or time on. Um, technically, you can also go with scoring, but generally people like to have time. I like competitive time personally, uh, just because it kind of helps with knowing where you are mid-level. Uh, assuming you have splits or a level. Um, of course, on top of that, a lot of people use live split. I do personally, however, for this tutorial I won't, just because I don't think splits are really necessary. I will be going over sort of expected times for each level. Um, but yeah, uh, when you're starting out, you want to make sure you're on prepare to drop. A lot of new people go to recon helmet rally point, but that's actually invalid for a lot of controversial reasons, which I won't go into, nor do I fully understand, but just for the sake of current rules, make sure you go on prepare to drop cutscene, no skulls on, again this is easy, and don't forget your time, and let's jump into it. So of course, this is just an actual cutscene, um, you do not need to watch it, you literally just have to pretty much load it up, uh, it basically changes the way the Mombasa streets levels go. If that makes any sense, but as soon as you're in you can skip it. You don't need to even show it as long as you show the loading screen um, or the cutscene you're fine. Just want to make sure you include that in your vault. So into the prepare to drop level, um, you're gonna start out in the pod, the infamous cry- uh, not cryopod, god, too much CE. The infamous drop pod, uh, that the rookie is inhabiting. Uh, right away, you're going to want to hold right click, or I'm pretty sure it is right click as long as you're on mouse and keyboard. I think it's B on controller, if I recall. Um, and that just declines the training, and you're also going to hold E to get out of the pod early. Now, a few things I forgot to mention really quickly that I'm not going to go too deep into is you want to have eight audio logs both beforehand at least uh, for the mongoose and you want to make sure you played through this level at least once so you don't get the tutorial. But instantly you're going to head over here to the right and you'll notice what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wait for these enemies to turn around specifically that brute I'm going to throw two grenades I'm going to clean up this wave. Once they're dead you instantly want to attack these guys. The important thing here that I want to highlight is you pretty much need to make sure you're attacking the enemies as soon as possible, otherwise they will run off into the four corners of the map, as we like to call them, and lose you a lot of time. There we go, 36 clear. That'll be pretty good for just starting out. Um, I would say anything faster than a 45 when you're just starting out is pretty good, so I would just take that. Uh, and then you want to come over to that phone specifically, uh, second one from the left, or from the right, sorry. I'm going to just hold E. Another thing you've noticed is I emptied my SMG. This is to prevent the carryover onto the next level, uh, meaning I will have full grenade. So you just come to this door, assuming you have the tutorial, you can just open it right up. And I have frag grenades selected, because I'm going to be going for a nade slide here. I'm not going to be really explaining um, most of the especially basic things, just because they're kind of fundamentals in Halo in general. 
Um, I think the biggest thing to keep an eye out for in this run is the route, um, probably, and where I do certain things. Additionally, you'll notice here, if you get plasmas, uh, you do want to throw them out when you get to where the stairs start, and you want to jump up the stairs, it just gives you a little bit of speed. And you're gonna look at that wall, hold E, look on the left, and that's a 156, which is pretty good for starting out, or even just for an average player. Uh, when you're just starting out, I'd say probably you want to go for a two minute, somewhere around there, or like... Now on to Teari Plaza. Um, not, like I said, this is a beginner tutorial, so I'm gonna go over all the really simple things, but just starting out here. You want to jump up here, and you're specifically going to want to jump here. You want to make sure you clear this, otherwise there's a chance you'll slide back. And then once you're over here, you're going to come over here and do a grenade slide, like so. And I'm trying to shoot these guys, you can uh, they just like to get in your way. And additionally, if you want to go for truck launch, it's good to get the plasma. In this tutorial, we're just going to go over that nade slide and the coil launch coming up. And of course, this is one of those really linear levels, so not a whole lot to talk about here. Just kind of follow the route that I'm doing. So you're going to want to throw your grenade right there. Make it bounce off the wheel. And you're going to throw your grenade right there for the coil launch. It's pretty simple. Uh, and since we're not going over truck launch, you can pretty much just run straight to the door. Again, you want to make sure you're killing grunts and jackals, especially jackals, I'd say, because jackals really like to get, like that, get in your way. Oh yeah, where were you a minute ago? At least get them to uh, do that like animation where they shot. Otherwise, they will pretty much jump in your way. You can do the snade slide here. I wouldn't unless you're well. I wouldn't if your health is red. But say it's like, you know, seen a bit of time. Again, these guys especially you wanna make sure they're not getting in your way. Almost there. What's wrong? That's the interesting anti slot. Listen carefully. And no hunter car boost, of course, so hang on, I'll be right there. It's pretty much gonna run this way. And when you hear that hunter uh, shoot, you can jump and sometimes get boosted by his fuel rod beam. But right here, you're gonna try and go for a slide. It's okay if you don't get one though. And you're gonna come right to the pod. The trigger is right there, in the like bottom middle specifically. A lot of people might screw up uh, with hitting it. And on that level, you generally want to get anything below a 210, I'd say, when you're starting. Now this next level, prepare to drop. Uh, instantly, you want to start emptying your SMG. Uh, same reason as the last time, because we want to carry over our grenades. Or we don't want to carry over grenades. We want full grenades on the next level. And you should be reloading right when you get to these guys. And we're going to grab a plasma pistol. Make sure you switch it out for your pistol, uh, just because your SMG is emptying. And I'm going to quickly cover the debris launch, although Viper has a tutorial on it. So you're going to come this way, you're going to open the door, and somewhere in this area here that's really lit up, uh, assuming you have visor on, uh, you want to throw your grenade straight down, you're going to jump, and you want to land somewhere right around here. Preferably on the right, that might have just screwed it up. Preferably more on the right, but if you land in the middle you'll also get a launch, so I don't think this is going to work because I kind of touched it, but we'll try it anyway. Okay, that works. So. Yeah, um, it's pretty simple. It's one of those really cool and easy tricks that you can... Uh, not much to it. Again, if you struggle with it, you can feel free to uh, see Viper's tutorial. And the big thing on streets is you really just want to go for whatever slides you can, especially nade-assisted ones. Um, but you'll notice I'm sliding off these little ramp things. What I'm going to do here is overcharge a plasma pistol and try and get a berserking brute. Hopefully. Uh, it doesn't look like I am. 
Uh, if you don't get one, it's not a big deal. It only saves a few seconds, realistically. Um, but... It's just kind of good uh, to get that little boost. If you don't, though, like I said, not a big deal. And of course, streets are infamous for mostly just walking. At least the first two. After that, we're going to have the all good. <laughs> and like I said, you want to make sure you're just going for whatever slides you can. Kind of got an antsy slide there. And right here we're going to be going for the coil launch. I'm not going to go explain this too much, but basically just try and throw your nades somewhere around the timing I do here. Maybe a little earlier than that. Do it a little earlier. And ideally what you want to do here with that coil launch, assuming you throw it, or not earlier, my bad, later than that, is you're going to want to land somewhere on this ramp. And you want to make sure you strafe to the right so you land on this ramp as well. And that'll just give you a pretty good boost, pretty much right over to uh, the direction we're trying to go. Of course, after you're done with that, um, pretty much just walk to the end. Nothing too easy here. Now the next level up with Reserve, um, it's really linear driving level, I'm only going to go over a few things on it, um, but there's multiple ways of doing the start, and I'm not going to go over the IL method which I do in full game, but I will go over the old one, so I think it's fair to call that the beginner level at this point. So a lot of people here on this level at the start, they'll pretty much run down that way. Don't do that. I want to jump up here. And you're going to jump onto this ledge. Now this can be difficult for people. It was difficult for me when I first started out. So you don't want to jump here. I, I guess. And uh, the main thing is if you jump there, I, is my life alive? Okay, usually I slide off there. Um, that's awkward. I jump. I, I would jump up here anyway. Uh, you're gonna kind of make sure you're hugging the wall so you don't slide off. You want to jump up here, and then the old strat, which I said I'd cover, is pretty much up here. I couldn't jump. My input just got eaten. So this is officially a very scuffed tutorial. Okay, you're gonna jump up here. You're gonna throw a nade and try and get a. Kind of the crouch slide, the scuff that, but you just play around with it. Um, it's pretty simple. And then what you want to do here is you want to throw your nade right about there, to hopefully flip the hog over. And that marine just kind of tilted it extra, which is really bad. Um, it made it flip extra, but if it does, it's not a big deal in full game. And the big thing here is this entire section is pretty much entirely RNG, like. This is actually probably one of the more annoying sections in the entire game. Uh, so you just want to make sure you're trying to drive through as fast as possible so you get the best like AI positioning. And you're going to boost up here. And this is a cliff climb. Now Viper has a tutorial on this, but I'll show it a few times. Uh, I'll just show it once or not. Oh my gosh, I'm choking so badly. Okay. So I'll explain it, I guess. Um, pretty much you're going to boost into the wall. You're going to lift the front of your ghost on keyboard that's control. Uh, on mount, er, on, wait. Yeah, on keyboard that's control. On controller, it's, I believe, A by default. Um, and as you're going up, as you're headed up, you're going to hold A or left. And on controller, that's just going to be kind of looking... Roger that. That's going to be your analog stick to the pretty much 11 or 10 o'clock. Um, and as you're doing that, you just kind of want to turn your mouse gradually with you. So I'll show it again. So that's just like that. I'll try and show what happens sometimes as well. These guys are really lighting me up. So sometimes you'll kind of screw it up. I'm trying to show... 
a little backup. So if you screw it up, sometimes like you might end up down here. Just make sure you come right here, up that ledge. That's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple trick, but it's pretty difficult when you're just starting out. So what is the objective, Colonel? If you miss it, it's not a huge deal. But that is probably the biggest time save on this level. Uh, now you just kind of want to follow this driving path. The level is pretty simple from here on out. Uh, whenever I do climb up any of these cliffs, I am also raising the front of my ghost. Just keep that in mind. And of course you can see my inputs down below. What the hell just happened? The subspace rupture must have weakened the support rings. Here comes another cliff climb. But this one is really simple. You're just gonna boost up there and pretty much just do a 180 right here. And of course, you just want to have good lines. It's kind of the main thing here. And another little cliff climb, but this one you don't really even need to lift the front of your ghost. Now, there's multiple ways of doing the ending here. I'll just show the one which I do, which everyone should do. It's really simple. It's literally what I just showed. Um, do that, please, because it's by far the fastest way and really easy. Like, you basically can't screw it up as long as you lift the front of your go. Um, on that level, I'd say when you're starting out, somewhere around 225 is probably decent. Um... I would say by your probably third run, you should be getting sub 220s. But again, it's just one of the starting levels, so it's not a big deal if you're still getting 225s. But definitely practice cliff climb. Um, it's one of the bigger things on that level. And of course, we're on to MS2 now. Again, we're just going to start instantly emptying our SMG. And pretty much just running the way we came. Now again, I'll highlight... Oh, I just want to say once again that you're going to need 8 audio logs uh, before you start. Technically, you could get, you know, like your 8th in the run. Because there's one right on the way. But I'm just going to be assuming that you have them all. So you're pretty much just going to be trying to get these slide jumps. And you could do a grenade slide at any one of these. I wouldn't use most... I would... Make sure you only use one of your nades in this area, um, because there are two tricks we'll be going for using nades, one of them coming right up. If you remember the coil launch we did on MS1 earlier, pretty much gonna do the exact same thing, just the opposite direction. And this one doesn't save nearly as much time, uh, but it's still time saved nonetheless. And again, you just want to make sure you have good lines. And obviously I'm just kind of killing these guys for no reason. Don't actually need to kill them. And ideally you want to hit those slide jumps I just did. But it's really just trial and error. I'm not really going to explain it too much or anything on the streets for that matter. And coming up we have the infamous Jonder slide, named after Zombie Master 343. Of course, um, what you want to do is you want to pretty much just slide down this, and then you're going to do a nade assisted crouch slide here. And ideally you hit both of them, there's also a third one you could hit right there. So ideally you hit all three, uh, and that's pretty decent time save with a really optimal one. And then you're going to jump onto this barricade, uh, you should just be able to crouch jump up here. You're pretty much just going to crouch jump up here. You want to do it in one fluid motion, so I'll show that again. So pretty much going to crouch jump, crouch jump, just like that. And then you could pretty much just come to the store. And this is where the audio logs come into play, because we're going to grab the mongoose. And again, as a reminder, because I always forget on the streets, 
you hadn't emptied your SMG, you want to make sure you do it now. Kaz stealing my screen time in my tutorial pog. But as long as you have eight audio logs, you're gonna come to this uh, supply cache. It'll open, and inside there are mongoose. We're just gonna take one, of course. And there's many routes you do. When you're starting out, I would do that one. This is the one I still do. You could drive through the middle. It hypothetically saves time, but I haven't seen anyone actually save time with it. And you're pretty much just gonna drive, you know, up here through this tunnel. Pretty simple. And hit the button. That's MS2. Uh, starting out, probably about this is a good time to get when you're just starting out. Um, I mean, honestly, like 3.30, I'd say, but... Or wait. Yeah, yeah, around 3.30, I'd say, when you're starting out is... Now, this is Oni. Uh, this is a lot... With, like, I'll tr I think I'm gonna go really in depth on this level. Um, there's a lot of things to point out here, so I might be reverting a bit. Uh, but this is one of the more important levels in the run, and where a lot of people lose time. So, uh, just I would say I'm just gonna say that sometimes Mickey. So sometimes Mickey doesn't hit this button. I'm just gonna assume he does here. But I, if you want, you can take a few seconds time loss and hit it. But either way, after that, you want to hit that button and then hit this one. That's the last one, Dutch. Everyone behind those barriers, bridges set to blow. And you're pretty come much on, just going to come straight up here. And I'm not going to be going over sniper strats. Because generally, unless you're like a god gamer, you're not really going to save time with that. And if you didn't, if you use one of your nades, uh, there's a nade up here and a nade over there, and you should be able to get them both in time before the door opens, I'll show. As long as you're hitting slides, which I did not do, but you'll notice I'm still here in time, so. Alright, now here, um, this is very important. Uh, your entire I guess, to be honest, the time you get on the level almost entirely depends, at least for the most part, on this clear here and the indoor clear. So, something about this that I'm going to explain first and then show is you want to charge your laser early based on Mickey's dialogue. So, I don't, if you're not on English, tough luck. Um, Assuming you are on English, Mickey says, Ah man, Covenant landing on the other side of the wall. Now, when he says other side of the wall, you want to say, you want to start charging when he says of. And you're going to line up your laser with what I do. So coming up. Ah man, Covenant landing on the other side of the wall. So I do it when he says of, and I just keep pulling left click, so my laser instantly starts charging. And I want to line up this collat, like so. I'm going to throw two grenades, I hopefully I don't die to that, and I'm going to charge my laser again. And the key thing here is you need to keep moving. You want to make sure you're hitting this trigger here as soon as possible. And you can always just check your map to make sure everything's dead, but you want to make sure you get to the top of this hill as soon as possible with everything dead. Now this uh, clear is pretty much on a timer, so it's not a big deal, although you do need to hit a kill quota. I don't know exactly how many it is, I think Rob said it's 18. You can laser that guy, um, kill these guys, just frag these guys. But to be honest, the way you do this doesn't matter too much, as long as you are meeting the timer. Uh, and then you, it's good to kill a wraith of two because each wraith counts for three kills on the quota. Because there's the wraith, the driver, and the gunner. And I like to. There's a lot of different ways you can do this clear. I personally come over on the right side here. I'm gonna grab a carbine. Just because generally that won't be enough dead, so you just wanna snipe a few grunts. 
And when you hear Mickey say more phantoms, more like that, sharp. you're pretty much clear to move up. Generally, as long as you're pretty certain you've killed enough, you can just start moving up the... And then you want to grab turret a five. turret from up here on the ridge. And you want to grab a frag as well. We got company. And I'm just going to put the frag here. I'm going to swap. I want to keep my SMG. Uh, you can take the carbine in with you, but I'm going to keep my SMG. Swap the rockets for the carbine. Now, coming up once this door opens, I'm going to be doing a nade slide. Only do this nade slide if you have extra grenades. Specifically, you have at least one frag and extra nades or yeah you pretty much can only do that you need to make sure you have an extra nade after the nade slide um the mickey teleport which is the next trick although it should technically be called dialogue i guess i guess it is mickey i don't know what we're calling it to be honest um, i'm gonna be going over viper's method because by far it's probably the best way um you can find hark's method in the odst links channel but yeah we're just gonna go through it. so once the store opens can i have frags selected i'm gonna bring the uh turret in with me I'm gonna drop it go for a nade slide i'm looking this way and i'm going to throw a grenade right about there and it causes it, it saves about 15 seconds or so. Uh, of course, like I said, Viper and Hark have videos in the ODSC Links channel, so I won't explain it too much. It doesn't matter if it's a plasma grenade, any grenade works. You can also get it instantly, like, without throwing a nade, but that's kind of RNG. Now, this is also RNG, this fight. Um, so... Basically, what you're going to be doing here is teeter-tottering between both sides. What I'm going to do is open my map. I'm going to see which side it is. I'm going to go to whichever side the enemy spawned on, SMG them all to clear that wave, and then I'm going to go over to the other side, pretty much do the same thing there, go to the other side, and I'm trying to think there is one, two, three, four, five, I want to say, waves on each side, or, yeah, five total waves. And you want to make sure you're just killing them as fast as possible. And on top of that, you want to make sure you're killing everything in each wave. So I think what I'll do uh, is I'll pause before each wave and pretty much say what enemy types there are. Um, yeah. So this first one, checking my visor. It's left side. Ideally, you get right side. But you can pretty much just SMG these guys. If, they, if they're if they a suicide run, don't worry too much about SMGing them. In fact, it's faster to let them kill you, probably. Because they just blow up instantly. Except this guy is absolutely trolling me. And then once you see that grunt spawn, you can pretty much just throw a grenade and run over. And for this wave, I'm going to grab the turret. This is the second wave. There's just grunts, jackals, and one brute here. And you want to make sure you're killing a total of four jackals, all of the grunts, and that brute. So I've killed one jackal so far. Ah, die. Okay, that's three, but I guess one must have... Uh, they can run into a death barrier. It's entirely possible, and happens quite a bit. I'm Popega. Hello? Sir? Sir! Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> this is what will probably happen to newer people, but maybe I'm also just bad. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to back smack him. Please. Okay, th this is all falling apart, so I'll just say kill them. Just kill and yeah, that's how you win. Right, is that it? Okay. So, that actually, all, all in all, for it, like, if you're a new player, that's not even a bad clear. Uh, ideally, I'd say, as a new player, you want to get a sub-515 clear. Uh, that was, I think, a 511, which is not great for me, but for a new player, that's pretty good. And as soon as you've killed everything, you're going to come out here. You want to kill these waves. You're pretty much on a timer here, so, like, you don't really have to worry. Okay, I almost got killed by my own grenade there. That was smart. 
Uh, you want to make sure you're not getting knocked off by the brutes into the water here as well, because uh, that equals instant death. But if you're a little slow with this clear, it's not a big deal at all. Because, uh, like I said, there's a timer on top of these, all, all these enemies, so. And I'm still beating the timer with how slow this has been for that matter. And I believe it's 40 seconds? Ah, yeah, I think it's 40 seconds from when the phantom spawns in. Could be wrong. S or when it drops its enemies off, I guess. The timer is done as soon as uh, Mickey says this dialogue, and you can jump up here. Doesn't actually technically save time, but everyone does it anyway. It can save time if for some reason you're blocked, like you can't get in the door. But you're just gonna hold E to get the button as soon as possible. And make sure you're not spamming it, because that can actually slow you down. All right, that's it. Transfer the detonation codes to my comm. And this is just a classic elevator. Um, nothing really going on here. There's gonna be some drones. Don't need to kill them. I will just because I hate insects. Where the heck did these? If they ever show up, from? they're really slow. Underground tunnels are filled with the damn things. A little shy today. Finally, a good reason to blow this building up. There you go. Like I said, you don't, you really don't need to kill them. Like, at all. Alright, and once you're on the roof, uh, the roof clear is not on a timer, so you do want to make sure you're going pretty fast here, but it's pretty easy. Uh, well, it's kind of like the, the, the clear I just did, so there is a timer underlying. Um, but you want to make sure you're killing as many things as possible as quick as possible just so you kind of beat that quote-unquote timer, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying. Just kill things, and I'll show you how I do it. Ideally, you have a plasma or some, like, a spike grenade. And you want to come out here and instantly just stick the brute, and then I throw a frag to kill, like, all the little mobs. Then... I want to make sure I'm saving one root shot ammo here. That should be enough dead. So once you have enough dead, that pelican's going to come in. And I don't really know the specific timing. I just kind of eyeball it. But once it's about there, you can throw a nade and do a root jump. A root shot jump pretty much over to the pelican. Get in. Um, and yeah. I would say when you're starting out, Anything sub 8.30, well, frankly, when you're starting out, like, your first run, anything around, like, 8.50 is pretty good. But by your few, first few runs, you should be getting, like, around sub 8.30s, I'd say. So 8.19 would be, I would say, stellar for your first run. But into MS3... Now, of course, we have the Mongies, so you don't need to empty your SMG, at least in this route. Uh, so we're pretty much just going to be driving down and driving right to the end of the level. And if you don't have the audio logs in that er in this area, uh, that barrier is going to pop up. So you just want to be aware of that. That's why I would recommend getting all 30. Now, this is the Tony Hawk. Um, honestly, I can't really explain this. You just kind of need to practice it. You want to get the wheel. Okay, I guess I'm going to redo that. I want to get a good one for this tutorial. You pretty much need to get the wheel of your mongoose up on top of that rail and keep your momentum. So hopefully this will be good. There we go. And pretty much you want to land all the way down here. Uh, like I said, you really just need to practice it. I can't really explain it. 
Um, but once you've done that, you're going to drive all the way up here. Just get out of your mongoose. Uh, you could do the nade jumps. I'm not going to show that, though, because in my personal opinion, it's not very beginner friendly. Um, I struggled with it quite a bit, and I know some people who still do. But pretty much just going to come up here, hit the goss turret. 144. Um, anything around sub 120, I'd say, is good for starting. Sub 130, actually, just because of Tony Hawk. This is Kazinga Boulevard. Um, this level is pretty much everyone except my least favorite. Um, it is a very big run killer for just about everyone. Um, I think what I'll do here is I'll show the ghost driving, and then I won't really go too much into the Banshee grab. Skilled Games has a tutorial for that. I will show the nails uh, lineup because I think that's valuable for people starting out. So I'm not going to show off RCB either. Uh, what I'm going to do is just a simple nade slide here. Okay, let's actually try that again because that's not a good one. So you want to get a nade slide off these stairs, hopefully, like so. And you want to make sure you're getting a plasma pistol as soon as possible. Uh, and preferably keep your rockets here. So I'm going to get rid of one of my rockets because I want to have an empty launcher. But I'm going to use my other rocket right here. So what I'm going to do here is as soon as it drops, I rock it. Okay, that didn't work out. So I was talking. As soon as it drops, you want to rock it. It'll kill the guy, or you can just hijack it as fast as possible. Try to follow this driving. Um, this is the most optimal driving, pretty much. You're going to get out. You want to get the beam rifle, get back in the go. And drive through here. Uh, if this guy's there, just keep boosting, honestly. You're going to do this. Now, nails line up. I'm going to shoot this guy, you're going to shoot this grunt, you're going to jump into this corner, and then you are going to... I'll show this a few times. That is very unlucky. Okay. So I'll actually try showing that again, because the rocket launcher of Marine is bad at the game. So, again, line up there, I'm going to start overcharging... Wow. Okay, start overcharging. And as soon as the Banshee pretty much rolls through your, um, I guess as soon as the Banshee goes through your Plasma Pistol, if that makes any sense, you're going to release. And this is not precise at all, that's why I'm showing it, because it's really easy. And I thought he got destroyed, so I just screwed up. But I just want to show this a few times anyway. Okay, and there he got destroyed. So you're gonna shoot the Banshee, and if it flips, you just kind of, it's, this is the annoying part, to be honest, when it flips. And if it does that, you're honestly best off just reverting, assuming you have a checkpoint. Um, because you're, you're probably not gonna get it. And this is, this really sucks, actually, just because it keeps getting blown up. Like, this is a really crap checkpoint. Of course, what you could do is pretty much just throw a grenade up there. Hopefully, you can get him. Looks like I did there. Anyway, once you have... Just practice this quite a bit, I'd say. Once you have the Banshee, you just kind of want to do that. And you're going to shoot his feet again. But this, You really just need to practice this quite a bit. It is... It's not easy for people starting out. Again, if you want other methods or to know, you know, more in depth how to do it, watch Skilled Games tutorial. Uh, he shows the old method going there and lure strats, so. Anyway, once you've done that, pretty much just gonna boost over to this wall. And you're going to make sure you're looking up, like so. Again, Skilled Games also covers that. Uh, what you notice I did too is I came back here, there's a trigger in that door you need to hit, and then you come over here to hit a load. And this will spawn in the wave fight. Yeah, 
This seems like really bad RNG. Okay, anyway. Uh, this is not even on the timer. Or, yes, it is on a timer. Like, this is an auto scroller. So, it really doesn't matter that you kill enemies as fast as possible, but I would just make sure you don't lose any time. Um, yeah, you can do this clear however you see fit. You really don't even need the Banshee. Uh, you could still easily beat the timer without a Banshee. But, yeah. And then, second wave spawns about, I think, I forget, I think it's 20 seconds after the first one despawns. Pretty much the same thing here, like, you basically can't lose time, short of dying somehow, or just not killing enemies. Just kill them. Run here. Interesting. Alright. And once you've done that, once you're sure all the enemies are dead, you can come over here. You want to stand right about here in the trigger, and the level will end 10 seconds from now, after it deloads. So there should be a 517. For your very first run, um, I would say anything sub 5 is good. Um, after your first run, I would say you want to go for sub fours, definitely, but frankly, like, even top runners still get, like, it's, it's a bad level for full game. Even I'll admit that, so. Even top runners sometimes won't get the great times on this level, so. Yeah, just when you're starting out, I would say go for, you know, sub five and then go for sub four. Um... Yeah, that's Kazingo. If anyone needs coaching on that level, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to oblige. Now we're on to MS4. Pretty straightforward. Uh, right at the start, here. I'm gonna be going for a nade slide. Just gonna jump on here. I'm gonna instantly throw a grenade. That was actually a really bad. Uh, was a really bad uh, example. Okay, as I said, you're gonna jump up here, and a little bit after you jump off, you want to throw your nades. So probably right about now, you just throw it right down. Hello? That's. I don't think I got a slide jump. There we go. So that's roughly what you want to do. Um, I won't worry too much about practicing that. You could, but it's only like a few seconds. You're gonna get it to your mongoose. Yes, Chaz, you do have a mongoose on this level. And you're gonna come up here, and pretty much just, again, you're gonna drive. And I'm hoping I can get a ghost for the sake of this tutorial. I didn't. If you get a ghost, grab it, hijack it, it saves like 10 seconds on the next streets. But pretty much come up here, and just hit the sniper rifle. 52 is fine on that level. I mean, that was with the revert, so actually it's not very fine. This is an MPD. Uh, this level is very technical. I am not really going to explain a whole lot here. Uh, Hark has a one hour long tutorial on the end fight because it really is that complicated. I'll try to explain very basic things about it. Um, Thanks for picking such right a here, this building. is the cone launch. Really Again, there's a tutorial on this, so I'm not really going to cover it too much, but you can practice that if you want. Uh, especially doing ILs would help. It's not a big deal if you don't go for it, though. And then you're going to jump up on this box, and as long as you're not like low on health, you want to go for this nade jump onto this box. Uh, if you are low on health, you definitely want to just go around, go up the staircase. And you want to make sure you grab that frag. Actually, don't worry about that frag, because I'm not going to show the second cone on. But again, just kind of straight line here. Jetpack Brute! Don't let him get behind us! 
and select your spike grenade. And then as soon as you get to the top of these stairs, you're going to throw your spike grenade at that uh, fusion coil, jump, and that'll boost you up here. You want to go for a slide jump off the, uh, that staircase. Now, these guys don't actually matter if they die, I'm pretty sure, but I kill them just in case anyway. And I'm not going to show this cone launch like I said, so you're just going to jump down. And you want to make sure, you just want to kill as many enemies as you possibly can from up here while you're running down. I.e. snipe them. And wait. God, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> okay. As I was saying, just snipe the enemies. Unfortunately, I got bubbled here. That's just something that'll happen sometimes, but... Yep, uh, I think there's another grunt there. There's three grunts on this side. You need to... Uh, hello? Oh, I guess he was... Interesting. You need to make sure you kill all of them. And then... There are three jackals there as well. And one brute. And then you need to kill... You can have, like, two grunts or the one brute alive here. Pretty much. So once you get new intel, you're good. Uh, I'm going to get Dutch's Spartan Laser, and the important thing here is you can only have, oh my gosh, you can pretty much only have two Banshees alive, so you want to focus on Banshees here, is what I'll say. And you'll also quickly notice that this Missile Pod is terrible. Um, if you do manage to kill enough Banshees, which I think I've done, you can kill this phantom, but again, the missile pot is terrible, so you probably won't. But I did it there. Uh, and then that will spawn in. Instantly, you want to get this rocket, grab this missile pod, put it down here. And right about now, you're going to shoot two rockets where I just did. Practice that. Shoot an extra one after you reload. That kills that phantom. Then you want to shoot six at that. And pretty much just kill these guys. You need to make sure you have no more than three enemies alive here, including uh, Banshees. I think we should be good. Yeah, so... This entire wave fight is RNG, by the way. Like, in terms of spawn order. Uh, so far, though, this is a pretty decent one. I think there's a brute down here who I'm gonna kill just to be safe. But I don't think I'm going to. Uh, this wave, entirely just focus on killing Banshees. Uh, this is... yeah. Just, I, would, I wouldn't even worry about the Phantom at all. Um, entirely just focus Banshees. You want to make sure you have absolutely no more than two alive, which... I kind of slack, so I'm probably not going to get it. But this is really, like... oh my gosh. That sucks. Uh, this is really optimal, or... Op this is about optimization, like, for yourself. There's... It, it's hard. I mean, the end fight here is pretty decently hard, I'll just say, so... At least to get a good time, specifically. But even if you don't get the dialogue instantly, you just want to make sure you're killing things... You're killing enough Banshees. And once you get that dialogue, you're on to the last wave. So, same thing here. You want to kill as many Banshees as possible. And you kind of want to, same thing, you want to make sure you have, I think you can have three alive, but don't quote me on that. Uh, but I pretty much just need to kill Banshees here. And again, I just wouldn't worry about the Phantom at all. I thought he died. Okay, um... Yeah, so that's not going to be nearly enough Banshees dead. So what I would honestly do is just try and kill a few more. And then, just to be safe, I would just detach this pod, if you didn't already. And you want to run, like, right here. Across this bar. And you need to make sure you have four missiles left in your pod. Okay, there we go. So once this is in, very important, don't shoot it until I shoot it. Otherwise, you will softlock. Um, if you kill it too early... You skip dialogue and it will soft lock. So right about now, you 
can do that, and that should kill all the brutes, which it didn't, interestingly. That's very interesting. Okay, I think that should be good. Did I just not kill any of them? Okay, there we go. And once you hear that dialogue, Flask Phantom's in, you're good. That level is, like I said, very technical. Um, it's hard to get a good time. Uh, so... I would say starting out, sub 630 is what you want to go for, probably. Um, and then after that, you know, start working on sub 6. It, like, yeah, it... It took me forever, personally, to get to even having, like, sub five, uh, sub sixes consistently, so... If you want, of course, you can watch Hark's hour-long NMPD breakdown uh, for the end fight, which supposedly helps a lot, but I think I personally understand it a good, now, a good enough that I don't really need it, but you can if you... Anyway, sorry that I'm kind of going off topic, I am very tired right now. Moving on, this is MS5. Same thing here. You're literally just gonna get on your mongoose and... Or ghost. Ideally a ghost, like I said, saves about 10 seconds. You just want to take the quickest route. And if you have a ghost, don't drive through this, he will not make it, or this. Just go around, and you'll still be faster. And you're pretty much just gonna drive up here. Get out, and hit this biofoam canister. Anything sub-50 is good, when you're starting. Now like I said, I'm only gonna go over the... I'm not going over out of bounds here, so... Bear with me, I have not done this in a while. Uh, you want to jump up here, I'm going to go for a nade slide, and you don't need to kill these well, guys, but I do remember, anyway, Move. and you want to try and kill some, okay, I'm getting kind of trolled, and actually I almost forgot, but you actually need, you don't need to, but ideally you grab the brute shot here, and kill these guys. And... Hopefully what happens is... Okay, I didn't get a Mickey teleport. I know Adversary sells the tutorial up on this level. You should probably just watch that. Nice AI launch. But you're gonna drive, fly over here. Hit this wall in case he didn't teleport already. I would do it anyway because it devotes some enemies. You want to kill those guys, otherwise it'll slow the uh, Phantom down. Once you've done that, you're going to come over here. And actually, before you do that, you want to grab this beam rifle. But yeah, you're going to come over here. Cabin secure. Flight controls read green across the board. Well, it's purple. But she's good to go. And you're just going to wait here a bit. On my way. I'm holding S to stop moving forward. Uh, what you're gonna do is, as soon as Mick, uh, Romeo's stood up fully, you're gonna Banshee Bomb, and that's gonna get him to do a weird, like, skip. I don't know how to explain. You don't wanna do it too early or you'll lose, like, 45 seconds, so I'll show you when. Hopefully I remember. Right about there. So when you see it say Rome. So there you go, so he's gonna do that. And you can kinda push Dutch a little to manipulate him into going. And yeah, there you go. So once you've done that, you just fly over here. I'm surprised I remember how to do that. <laughs> and this first door you don't need to open, but you can just boost down into. And you can literally just fly through here entirely, pretty much. And I don't think you have to kill anything here, if I recall. You do have to open this door manually. So you're gonna do that. 
And you want to make sure when you look back there, you want to make sure they're not stuck over there. If they are, you need to move back. It's like a really annoying soft lock. Uh, kill this squid hive, kill the phantom. And then this door should open, hopefully, soon. This is RNG door on this level, which of course, out of bounds skip. But it might be soft lock. No, I'm good. So once this opens, that was a really bad RNG door. I'm gonna come through and pretty much just fly straight to the end of this section. Um, this is the one where you walk in, so you can leave your banshee. And I'll try and remember how to do this. So, on a brute shot there, that's not gonna work. On a brute shot, as I said, right around there probably. Throw plasma. And that's not a very good one. Um, you just want a brute shot fast enough that it doesn't blow the coil up, but it gets closer. It's just a coil launch, so pretty much nothing really complex at all. Gonna hit this button and pretty much just head out. Oh my gosh, is he berserk or something? What is he doing? Don't get back smacked by the chieftain, please. It's not very cool. Oh my god. I was about to say do something there, but just don't. It's bad. Uh, stand behind this, and then like come over and stand behind this. Otherwise, the scarab will uh, shoot your banshee into you and probably splatter you. But once you get to this door, you can just walk through. I'll take your banshee and beam rifle the squid hive. Uh... Honestly, just starting out, I'd say this is probably a decent time. Uh, obviously, as well, I would really recommend learning the out of bounds strats, but I, like I said, I'm just not going to do any out of bounds in this tutorial, anyways. Out of bounds strats are easy, though, and there's tutorials for all of them. So, if Chaz can do it, so can you. Anyway, this is MS6, the shortest uh, quote-unquote level in the run. Not really a level, to be honest. Just gonna drive to the end. Pretty simple. And if you have a ghost, you want to get the elusive 15 split, which I've gotten a few times. I'm not really gonna say anything there, it's fast. <laughs> Alright, so if you have an extra nade, uh, if you have three nades, I mean, you want to do a nade slide here. If you don't, nade, or just slide over here, grab the extra nade there. Uh, I'm not really going to explain a whole lot here. I will go over D route. Um. Grab that plasma that I grab. It, I mean, everything else here is very simple, so you just want to slide. Alarm! Intruder! And you uh, you want to get nades. You want to collect as many nades as possible. You can go for this cone launch, but I'm not gonna explain it because beginner tutorial. That will be covered in the advanced tutorial soon, TM. Okay, so right here, you want to throw a plasma a little early. I didn't get the boost, unfortunately, but you just want to get a nade slide there with a plasma, pretty much. Preferably with a plasma, because you want to save your frags. At least the way I do it, because I do D route with a frag. A lot of people do with a plasma, but I'll show how to do it with a frag because it's faster. Now. I'm gonna die, you hear me? And I would just try and memorize the route on Data Hive. Um, it's uh, like the it's it's literally tunnels, so Thanks, it's trooper. obviously the most me. linear level. Been trying to get down to the next level, checking my team. It took me a little the bit of time to remember where to. 
So you want to make sure you hit that button, by the way. Uh, grab this carbine. Maybe kill these two guys. Oh, uh, make sure you don't swap that carbine for your SMG either. You want to keep your SMG. Like, that's very important. On easy, anyway. And try and kill these camo brutes. Ideally, get flame nades. I got two there. Okay, we got three. There are a total of three camo brutes, I'm pretty sure. And pretty much just run through here. I'm not going to show any of the launches here, just because... It's a beginner tutorial, though. <laughs> Okay, and you want to make sure you kill this brute, and just everything in this next room in general, especially the brute though, otherwise he'll like bully this cop when he teleports. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, and same thing here with these guys. And just as an anti-time loss measure, push this box like so. And yeah. Assuming you have going down to level nine, 29 so. or more audio logs, I say or more because it happens with 30 as well. Uh, this guy won't die, he'll follow you down, doesn't really matter on easy, it's useful on ledge. Um, I'm gonna come through here. And I will show Cone launch here. <laughs> Not really gonna explain it too much. Just do what I do. Hopefully if it works, that is. Okay, don't do what I do, because that was bad. It's not a big deal if you don't get any of these launches. It, like, when you're starting out, it really doesn't matter. Um, okay, this, this clear is very... ...annoying. Um... To say the least. So. You're doing. Sorry. You're gonna throw two plasmas that I do. Just make sure you're hanging on to one frag or one plasma, depending on how you're doing D route. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing frag uh, frag launch, so I'm gonna keep one frag. But you can use all your flame nades here. So I'm gonna throw plasma there, plasma there. I'm gonna try and flame these guys. Throw two. I'm gonna throw a frag into there. I still have one left. I can throw a flame there, and unfortunately that didn't actually get anything. I got launched by this guy. And what's really annoying about this, you'll notice, is they just are always gonna walk back there. It's really stupid. <laughs> um, but once you're once they're all dead, you just you know through here and hit this door, and uh, there you go. Now we got Dare. We rescued Princess Peach. Not bad, not bad so, uh, yeah. Now it's more walking on this fun level. And I am going to show a little foam launch here, hopefully, just because I have the extra plasma, which I don't really need. Just right here, you can throw a plasma, like, right there. You can go to cone launch. Obviously, I didn't, because I'm just choking everything, but don't worry about that if you're new. Like, on, I, I, the only launch I'd worry about on this entire level when you're new is d -Rail. Or the old launch if you're doing that for some reason, but the cone launches really don't matter for new people. So you want to grab this brute shot, doesn't matter what you swap here. But yeah, grab the brute shot, 
And then... Hopefully you get Plasmas here. Especially if we're doing Coast a lot of balance. Reloading. But we're not doing that in this tutorial. And you're gonna grab the beam here with whatever is in your Brute Shot. So probably your SMG or Carbine. You're gonna shoot this six times. And on full game, if you walk over here, you get a safety checkpoint. Very nice, so I could show this a few times. I'll show it with Plasma as well. So you're gonna throw your frag, and as soon as it's about to bounce a second, okay, that's a bad. As soon as it's about to hit the second time, is pretty much when you want to brute shot and walk forward. Except I'm not doing it right. It's so right, just like that. Uh, I would just practice this a little bit. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. Just. Yeah, you really just gotta get the hang of it. Um, I think I'm actually doing it a little early. There we go. And I'll show it a few times with Plasma just so you can see the rough timing. Not like that. I haven't done Plasma launch in such a long time. But of course, Plasma launch hurts you a bit more, so I'm just gonna do Frag because I like health. And don't do this if you, uh, awkward. Oh my gosh. I should not be the one making a beginner tutorial. I am a beginner apparently. Maybe I'll cut this out, but I really don't care. Okay. <laughs> As I was gonna say, okay, as I was gonna say, don't do this if you do plasma launch, but you can brute shot up here. Because if you do plasma launch, you're gonna be too low on HP. And run up here. Well, jump, rather. Another brute shot, another one. And that's pretty much all there is to deroute. <laughs> Pretty much just gonna run to the end fight. And there's health there if you need it. I just pat. So, what I'm gonna do here is snipe this guy. Just make sure he's dead. And I'm going to snipe off the helmet of that. Okay, I'm gonna show this again, I think. So, what I'm gonna try to do, assuming the other guy doesn't get in the way. Which he just is. Okay. Won't be long before they smash through that door. Let's take them out now. He's activating invincibility because I'm shooting him through the other guy, which is really Let's annoying. Now. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to show what I'm trying to, but Open this door. if you hedge, uh, I can't do it. I'm bad. I'm sorry. I am too tired for this shit right now. They smash through that door. Let's take them out now. Open this door, traitor. Okay, you know what? I don't care anymore. I just don't. Just backsmack him, dude. Just fucking backsmack him, to be honest. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah. Watch the tutorial on this level. I'm not great at it. Welcome. Access granted. Just trying to do the tutorial for full game. Nice and slow. Check it out. Alright, you can hammer boost down here. Uh, don't do that extra slide just because it'll get you above the door. And hammer boost back up. And try to kill these three brutes. Oh, nice. This is as fast as you can. And then you got all these guys. Fun friendos. Who you're gonna kill. And over here. And the only important thing here is that you, you just want to kill everything as fast as possible, pretty much. Um, make sure you kill absolutely everything before you drop. Otherwise you're very likely to lose time. Grab brute shot ammo. At least this have six when you go down. The door. 
And if you have a spike, you can throw one right there. It's not a big deal, though. And then just kind of shoot these brute shots. You want to make sure you do kill all these drones. Unfortunately, you can't melee cancel in this game, so I can't cancel my reload. But once you kill all of them, you just want to run over here. And you're pretty much just going to wait for the AI. I'm not going to worry about pushing because it's really not too much worth it in full game anyway. Um, unless you're in a situation like this, but for a beginner, it really doesn't matter. Just look, because if you push him too much, then it's going to end up losing your time. You can push Dare a little bit into position. And now you got like a 40 second conversation. This engineer knows what the covenant's after. They're not 40 seconds. I can more like than I would. What they know could win the war. Somewhere though, just come here in the middle of the You haven't killed any of them, have you? No. Well, maybe one or two. Nice work. How was I supposed to know? And you're pretty much just going to walk to the end of the level, as per usual. Uh, make sure once you hit the store, you look backwards. And once you cross about here, you're going to turn Element. around. And Come Virgil on. teleports into here, which allows you to end a lot faster. Now, mainly because of that deroute stuff, um, this was not very good. When you're starting out, I'd say... Probably sub 1130-ish is what you want to aim for, but this is another level that's pretty hard to get decent at, so just practice it a bit. Uh, sub 1130, uh, yeah, I'll go with that. I'll say that's probably for beginning. And now this is Coastal Highway, everyone's <laughs> favorite level. Uh, yeah, so here... Agreed. I'll stay with the asset. Get You're gonna cover. walk to uh, walk to the end, and then well, you're gonna walk to the elevator, and then uh, you're gonna push Dare's dump truck for 12 minutes. Fuck, that turret has us pinned. We can't advance. About about 12 minutes. And I am gonna explain just about nothing with that, so if you really want to know how that works, Viper has years worth of content on how to do which you I'll explain, like, a few things, but only basics. Uh, again, that's the same thing, you want to make sure you do that teleport, forgot to mention. Uh, literally just look back and then look forward once you get past the line. And then you could kind of push Virgil here. Um, into the door, and you're just gonna hold the, in the button. Now, what you want to do here is get in the hog on the passenger side, just because it gets there to start moving quicker. And do not touch there until she turns around this. Hey, so like, right about now. And you're literally just gonna push into the three. That you see right there, hey, for the most part. For like, you know, the entire level. And honestly, just I can. don't just listen to Viper, whatever he says. It's I'm gonna tell you how to save half a second on this what level. No. It's just, just don't, honestly. When he writes a paragraph in the comments about how my coastal was very not up to par. Uh, you could grab the Give rockets the here as well. Some you might want to do. Uh, you do also want to make sure you're going through these door triggers, like driving through. And once you drive through, you're just gonna get back to pushing. Now, with this specific highway segment, uh, once she makes this turn, coming up right about Whoa. now. You want to shift over to the left, the uh, make sure you're not pushing on the right, otherwise there is going to get stuck and lose you a lot of time. So just push left, like I said. 
Otherwise, she gets stuck up here on this trailer. And once she's past that, you can push on the right again. And just kind of eyeball it. And right about now, probably. Head for the door trigger. Hey, I forgot drone doors, I think, coming up. That's something to expect. Until then, you just push. Fun. Heads up, Banshee! If uh, you don't want to do this, you can do Coast Lot of Bounds. It's pretty easy. I do have a tutorial for that, and I will also explain it in depth in the advanced tutorial. Of course, in ODST Link's chair. I'm going to come over here and just kind of shoot your rock. I honestly forget how to do this. You want to make sure you hit this trigger as fast as possible. Um, you just need to kill like 12 drones or something. I think it's 14 actually to be honest. If you have an SMG, it's that's a good weapon to use. But as long as you hit the trigger, you're good. And this is in the section. Just push again. Pretty much. I'm gonna shut that crazy mouth of yours right now. And in this next section, I'm going to actually drive all the way forward. Because I'm going to attempt, at least, to get a ghost here. Hopefully. There we go. And once you have a ghost, uh, push there with the ghost. And the reason you want to get the ghost is it's technically not faster at pushing, but it gets you through the doors faster, which allows you to hit the triggers faster. Which does save time overall. It also makes things better with getting the uh, uh, Wraith. Also, I kind of screwed up. Uh, you need to get in the Skossog. You don't need to stay in it though, just get in, get out, get back in the ghost. And... I'm gonna push, again! And in the next section, we'll, we will be getting the roof. And there's a few things to cover with that. So. Once you got the Wraith, just, uh, guess what? I'm gonna push with the Wraith, because it's faster. Mainly when you boost. Obviously when you're just driving into it, it's not so much, but when you boost, you'll notice. You can actually see the 
kind of move. But once you're here, you want to boost through the door. And it's the same thing with the scorpion. You just need to hit. You need to hop in really quick, and then you can hop out. Uh, I like to get buck in, if possible. But if not, it's not a big deal. And you want to make sure you kill these like ghosts and stuff until she starts moving. And we're pretty much just gonna be pushing. But there is some to cover in a few sections. Literally just hold right click, you don't even need to press W. Do whatever your boost button is. But here I like to try and kill Banshees if possible, because they can kill you. And you want to make sure you're pushing her on the right side around that Wraith, because she can get stuck there. Other than that, after you're good with Banshees, and don't worry too much about Banshees either. Assault carrier. Ten o'clock high. Like, it's not a big deal, especially because at one point I'm pretty sure they just kind of pull off and stop carrying. In the next section, you will want to kill stuff, though, and I'll explain why. Phantom! Right, so, Ghost for like down. the first two thirds or so of this section, you are just gonna push. You don't need to worry about anything. You can kill this guy in between boosts if you want, doesn't really help. And then when you get to this part, you want to boost on the right just to help her get around that uh, bus a little quicker. And then boost on the left to get her back on the road. Now you want to kill these ghosts because if they get behind you, uh, they're going to shoot your core in the back and kill you. Although, if it's not exposed, like it's not right now, uh, you don't have to worry about it too much, so I'm actually just not going to bother. And sometimes they just won't shoot you, but it is something you have to be careful of because it can happen. It has happened to me a bit. It's really annoying. It, it You die and revert, so... And we got only two sections off the highway. How time flies. Now it is exposed, so I can't actually pretty easily die, especially if I get boarded by a brute here, or if I get stuck in the back, which happens more than you might think, just out of luck. So what I like to do, just because of getting boarded by brutes, is just make sure you shoot. Okay, I'm, I am turning around, because I'm getting fuel rotted in the back. Okay. You're coming to us. And there is a trick there called fast. What is it called? Is it just. Oh, it's rush hour. Yeah. Um, don't worry about that. There's also dead door, but. Just, just don't, honestly. Uh, grab this hog. Oh! Oh, I don't have rockets. That sucks. Uh, I, I should have explained something here. Um, damn. Yeah. There's a new strat which was found, I mean it, it works without it, but it was found coincidentally with Coastal Out of Bounds. Um, if you have, I'll show it like where and how you do it when we get there, but if you have rocket ammo you could take the Warthog into the end section and save some time. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Oh and you want to make sure Buck is in your Warthog here, so just hit the trigger. And then you can push a little bit longer. 
So yeah, if you have rockets, uh, you, here's what you want to do. You want to park right about here. Rock it once or twice, get it over. You can SMG it or shoot it uh, to get it over further. And yeah. uh, do that, it saves time. Definitely. Would recommend. Um, anyway, now we're into the end fight of Coastal. Pretty much. Uh, pretty straightforward, more or less. Area secure. Veronica, come to us. We'll cover you. This is actually full path coastal PV pace. ETA. Fun fact. Had to I think. The whole damn city's on fire. Somehow. Trooper, I have a tier one asset and a um, bunch of covenant that want it dead. What are we gonna do? Step on it. Yeah, yes, if you do get the hog over, try to push dare, but you want to push this hog out of the way, otherwise she'll just get stuck. And Virgil doesn't matter. You don't need to push Virgil. Yeah, this is the end fight. This is the same whether or not you do out of bounds, pretty much. Um, so, not gonna explain it too much. The moral of the story here is you just kill stuff as fast as you can, preferably. Uh, it's the same deal as a lot of the other clears in the run where you just want to kill things before like the phantom deloads. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. It doesn't look great so far. It might be good. How does he dodge? He didn't even see it. And there's a grunt there who I really want to kill. Looks like we might have gotten it before. No, we didn't. Okay, whatever. Uh, now we got the... Uh, what do you call it? Freaking... Jackal wave coming in. Uh, grab the fuel rod too. Mine might have despawned, which really sucks. It's actually interesting. Normally it takes forever to despawn. Uh, so, important note here, do not kill anything, like don't even do anything until everything hits the ground, otherwise you will softlock, and you also get a checkpoint quite frequently, so, uh, yeah, just be careful about that, to be honest. Wait, I don't have rocket, oh, that, really, okay. This is going to be really scuffed. Um, I... Okay, you want to ha make sure you have rockets here. I did not think of that at all. Uh, generally, just shoot one rocket in the middle of these hunters and they'll just die. This is really... This really sucks. Okay, that works too. As long as you kill them before the phantoms despawn, which... Who is a lot? Are you kidding me? Okay. You, you just want to make sure everything is dead before the phantoms deload, pretty much. Uh, yeah. There we go. Now we're on to the last wave. Um... Yeah, just... Same here. Just kill stuff as fast as possible. Ideally, you have the fuel rod and some rockets, but for some reason my fuel rod despawned and I guess I just used all my rockets because I'm smart. So yeah. I am astonished that I didn't manage to back smack him there to be honest. And a beam rifle definitely helps here a lot with this clear. I'd say. If you can aim. I. Hello? I actually just hate this clear because these guys are really annoying. This is a really bad clear for that matter. Okay, and once they're in, you have, it's 40 seconds until the end. Assuming you don't get trolled. And you must look at the tiger as well. For good RNG and good luck in your future run. 
Just nice to know they really do listen. Come on, let's get out of this city. Once you've looked at the tiger go, and the phantom is here, just go under it. And uh, yeah, coastal highway. Uh, starting out, doing full path, 1830, somewhere around there. Uh, or below, I'd say. Overall, using all of this, let me think for a sec. So assuming... 2 minute prepare to drop. 2 minute Tayari, somewhere around there. Like, uh, let's say... 250... Let's just say 3 minutes to round up. MS1. That brings us to 7. Then like, let's say a... 230 uplift. That's 9.30. Yeah, I'd say somewhere around like a sub 110, sub 115, somewhere in that range. Uh, 110 to 115. That's about where you want to aim for for your first run. Um, it's definitely very possible to get a sub 110 with your first run, but yeah, I would just go 110 to 115 for your first run. I will have a advanced tutorial as well coming out. Um, some point who knows this one took me forever to make and i'm sorry i was so scuffed i got tired like halfway through so anyway uh yeah i hope it's helpful regardless of how scuffed it was um we'll see if i end up doing a redux because i do actually want to do a more of a series i guess like guides for each level but we'll see Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Again, hope I helped. If you need any more help, feel free to join the Halo Runs Discord, uh, haloruns.com slash discord, or DM me a comment, etc, etc. But anyway, yeah, hope it helped, and good luck.